I'm Steph, and today I'm going to take you with me as I decorate my house for fall. I'm glad you're here. Let's get to it. As I've said in previous videos, I love fall. It's my favorite season. And when it comes to decorations, I like to make some of my own decorations. I like to find things in nature that I can use to decorate around my house. And when I do buy things, I try to find a balance between Halloween and the entire season of fall. Today I'm going to show you not only the decorations themselves, but also how I make some of my own. And I'll give you step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can make it as well. Let's start with the transformation of my dining room table. i got to get rid of that candle I've been burning all summer. Uh, lemon sugar cookie is just too sweet for Halloween. I throw on a Halloween tablecloth, bring out my fall leaves and black rose bouquet. One rose has an eyeball glued in it. Uh, my skull and crossbones salt and pepper shaker is my favorite piece. And then a nice fall candle to top it off. Next is my coffee station, which most of the time looks pretty simple like this. But during this time of year, I just add a few touches of homemade uh, bottles. Each one has a different fluid in it to make it look spooky and unique. Outside, I have my lantern, which all summer had a nice cheery sunflower. And in the fall, I add pumpkins, pine cones, and leaves. It's just a beautiful touch to the entrance of my front door. On the credenza, uh, normally it just has decorations and I just add a few fall leaves and uh, pine cones. The pine cones I found while camping one year and they just had the most perfect beautiful pine cones so I grabbed quite a few. My mantle also uh, pretty bare for the most of the year. It just adds some leaves and some pine cones to spruce it up. This year we added a skeleton in our fireplace. I love this touch so much. Uh, I like to wait and see how long it takes guests to notice, first of all, but it's just a little spooky and fun. I made another fall bouquet from Michael's. I just got some great fall flower arrangements and arranged them in a jar. I reused that sunflower since sunflowers are also a fall flower and it's just turned out gorgeous. Next is this spooky Halloween wreath, which I made from uh, materials found at Michael's. I'll show you how I made it. You'll need a black wreath, some embellishments, pumpkin skulls, some uh, black roses and leaves. And then you just start affixing them. I couldn't find my hot glue gun, so I wove the wires around the wreath itself and it, they actually held in place very well. It was a little hard to get them through, but once I did, they secured very strongly. Um, the black cat didn't stay on very well. It wasn't super high quality. I probably would have skipped that next time. Um, I wrapped the flowers around half of it, which I thought looked beautiful. It takes a little finessing to get them to stay and then of course to get the flowers to be pointing the direction that you want them but they do stay uh, pretty well once you get them where you want them the other side looked a little bare so i wrapped around these black leaves and it really helped uh, tie the whole piece together without it being completely symmetrical i needed a little color at this point so i added the orange pumpkin and then I wanted to try and keep it simple I didn't want to overdo it too much so so I just added this uh, branch to give it some dimension I wasn't sure where I wanted it to go until I put it off to the side and I just loved the sweeping feeling that it gave to the, the wreath as a whole so I decided to uh, fix it there and then it just felt done so I left it like that, made a few tweaks, tried to get that dang cat to stick in. <laughs> After a few more minor tweaks to get the leaves and flowers to stay put where I wanted them, I felt really happy with the way that it turned out. I couldn't wait to see it on our front porch. Here it is, the finished product, along with the rest of our Halloween decorations.
Mr. Skeleton sitting out here for our package deliveries and a little squirrel picking up acorns. I hope you enjoyed getting a glimpse at how my family decorates for fall. Let me know in the comments below how you celebrate the season in your home. If you want more of me, you can find my blog at fortnerthoughts.com. I also now have a cooking blog exclusively called fortnerforage.com. As always, you can find my podcast, Crime and Conjure, at crimeandconjure.com or any of the streaming platforms. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Hit that bell so you know when my next video comes out, and please subscribe. Later!